When I was awarded the Dalby tra Travel Scholarship, I went to Ireland um, and I was investigating gypsy traveller culture. And I went to a horse fair and I found all these, these like shire horse collars or working horse collars. Um, and I started working with these and built these kind of parts. And then I spent also a long time, uh, we hired a gypsy, an actual gypsy Botox caravan for a week. And driving through the fields and the countryside, I started noticing all these, these are actually cattle feeders, which are like used to feed all the animals there. Um, so I guess the parts just came together and that was kind of the, the source of the inspiration for this piece. I enjoy travelling a lot and when I'm travelling I am always on the lookout for new structures and buildings which I can draw from like in terms of ideas of I know size and shape and structure it's something really important to me. I think the collecting part is almost part of a ritual to me. I mean the time spent collecting and finding materials I hope shows in the work I think you know it almost weaves a kind of magic a kind of shamanistic kind of feel to the thing um, and, and that's why I, I think it's quite important it's not about rushing or just going and buying something for the sake of buying it it's, it's a lot about time and effort spent sourcing things the audience is really important for me and I like people to be able to go on like a physical journey around the piece so I kind of you know set things at different heights and different angles so you know you can physically explore the thing and you become almost absorbed in in it or like in, in this case in this show I like people to be so kind of overwhelmed by everything almost like one of those museums of curios curiosity from like uh, I think uh, Victorian times where they rammed places full of all different trinkets and things for people to be kind of overwhelmed by and that was the kind of idea for this show. This is one of my favourite pieces which was actually uh, made for Sarchi's new sensation show which was about a year ago. Um, and I was given some money to make the piece and I flew to Morocco um, and I've always been really interested in using like pelt skins and leather um, I do a bit of taxidermy myself um, so I was there before and I'd seen all the tanneries and fez um, and managed to get pick up all these amazing like different colored different kind of tanned sheep and goat skins um, and I brought them back and kind of I've been really interested in the Thames, the River Thames for quite a long time, kind of as a source of a source of materials and a source of like supplying. It's been like a way of life for people for living in London. So I've always been fascinated by it. So I've, been, I've started this quite massive collection of old bones and I love the, you know, the textures and the tones. Other parts have been like uh, borrowed or reused from other works. Like these, these hoops were from my degree show. Um, and they were originally from a piece called AIM, which was just more like much simpler totem pole kind of style um, with those on the top. But I, I kind of, since my work's so big, it's, it's kind of important for me to reuse bits again and again. There's something about the history of old objects which like particularly fascinates me. Instead of, you know, using something modern and new, there's, they seem to have like a kind of history or aura about them, which is quite interesting to me. I do go out on these um, kind of sourcing or scavenging trips, but you ne you never know what you're going to find. I mean, I didn't. I found all these eggs, um, which I used here, and uh, I think it was the, around the back of my old university. They had all these kind of the science area, so you kind of you never know what you're going to find, and that's what really interests me. It kind of throws these surprises in, and my studio is like a huge like bank of collected objects, and slowly they get used or discarded, depending on what kind of I feel like making. I've had some really exciting news recently. I've been um, awarded an RBS sculpture bursary. Um, so I've got a show coming up there with the 10 other bursary awardees. Um, and we're going to go to Berlin Preview Art Fair um, with Eb Eb and Flo to display this and a few other of the wall pieces. Um, and I also might be doing a bit of work with Selfridges. I just found out maybe a window display or two. So it's all, it's all really exciting at the moment. <laughs>